War. Yay. Now everything works great. Hey, AFA are they going? This this game has a weird engine problem with OBS. I don't know, it interferes with OBS. It's a minor annoyances, but by trying to uh, to clear the problem, I was creating other problems that was more annoying. So fuck that. I might switch to Windows 10, you know, because OBS seemed to work way better on Windows 10. It's not even... But the games might be a little harder to run. Ah, it's so fucking annoying. Why can't it just work? I can't wait to have the same problems. You might not have them. It might be different. <laughs> um, so far as I know, I seem to be the only problem... The only guy who has that problem. I'm not the only one streaming Fallout 2. You want this? How's it going? Poison, fuck you. Poison by these? Why is this guy so tough? Holy crap. Kill him! The fuck is going on? A tough mutant pig rat, 6 HP, come on, kill him. Oh man. 35% sucks. I'm gonna die. Solik! Ah. Ah, is this a problem? The poison? I think we're done here. Yeah, it gave me 300 points for doing that. Okay. Hey Dave, how's it going? Ah, oh, this is north side of town.
Uh, but it was north side of town. What is this? Goo? Yeah, the goo. This guy. Oh, that's it. We done the thing, we got the XP. He can take us there. But he's not giving us anything for it. Okay, okay. And there's that watch problem. I remember that watch. guy who made this place, Modog, decided to put a bunch of rocks everywhere. <sighs> Whatever. And it's all hidden, they're all hidden. Oh, you can't even pick them up. Weird. What the fuck, I want to put my hand in the bed in the toilet? Is that a toilet? I think it is. <laughs> um, did it say something? There's an overwhelming smell of methane gas down here. One tiny spark would blow this. Oh, sky. I need to blow this up though. Okay, well we'll come back here. I'm sure somebody's gonna ask us about it. Rose bed and breakfast. Welcome to Rose's bed and breakfast. My, aren't you the strapping young man? What can Rose help you with today? I'm Star, what do you do? Oh, barter. I forgot to do barter with the other guy. 20 bucks? What's this worth? 25 bucks? Good enough. I starve. Sorry, sweetie, I'm quite busy serving customers. Maybe if you ordered something. Starving. Can I do here with anything properly? You just sit right down and look at the menu. Ramen dogs, water, a thousand bucks. That's crazy. What? <laughs> Let's go with some fries. From and fries it is. Then we have a contest on who can eat the most Brahmin fries. So far the record is 36. If you break the record, you don't have to pay the tab for your meal. You look like you'll be able to beat the record with no problem. Why is she saying that? I would bet my endurance has a lot to do with it. I have two endurance. So I can probably double that score. Bring it on. Pay the tab of what? Five bucks? No thanks. I'm okay. Missing watch. Have you heard of Gek? Missing watch. Oh dear, have you been talking to my husband, Cornelius? This whole business with the watch is just terrible. Cornelius has, been, has got the whole town believing that his best friend, Farrell, took his watch, but you've talked to him. I'm sure you've noticed his mind isn't quite functioning properly. I'm pretty sure the poor deer just left the watch somewhere and forgot where. Now, if you don't need anything else, I'll have customers to... Questions? Uh, in that case, I'm starving. Okay, you know what? 
Let's save. Let's try those fucking brown and fries. Brown and fries. Go boom. Oh, that's just grand. Each order consists of 10 pieces. I'll have to ask you to for the money up front. I'll refund it as soon as you break the record. That'll be 20 bucks. Not that much. Why don't I try for the record later? What? Eh? How much do you need? Sure. Why does it say that? Whatever. Uh, Rose is totally stepping out on her husband with the wash. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Rose takes the money and comes back with a heaping platter of ramen fries. They are not quite what you expected. They appear to be about the size of gold balls covered in batter and fried. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. Ramen fries. They're not fries. They're like chicken nuggets. But ramen. You take a tentative bite. These are delicious. You start into the meal with zeal. At around 34th fry, you start to feel the effects of overeating. A crowd has gathered to witness the historic event of the old record being broken. In an attempt to regain your composure, you strike up a conversation with Rose. You pop a fry into your mouth. Mm, don't talk with your mouth full, dear, you swallow. How do you prepare these if it's not a secret or anything? I know some people... Oh, no, no, no! 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 <laughs> I didn't have any choice, they didn't give me any choice here. Oh, it's no secret. You just dip them in batter, add some salt and fry in grease. You pop another one in your mouth. It's a trick. <laughs> exactly. How do you prepare the Brahmin meat? Why am I asking these dumbass questions? <laughs> it has such a unique picture. You pop yet another one. These are good. They're fucking Brahmin balls. They... He said the uh, gall. She's no. He said they were kind of like gall balls. That's thirty-seven. You Joe's just broke the record. You feel like you got gotten your second win and pop another fry into your mouth. Then shut the fuck up and just quit while you're ahead. <laughs> yeah, I have no more choice anyways. The crowd yells thirty-eight. Well, that makes our taste so special is that you have to harvest it while the Brahmin is still alive. You just grab the Brahmin by the scrotum and snip four, snip four with one cut. Oh, they got four balls. You've got to be careful. The Brahmin usually gets riled up at that point. The 30th Brahmin tidbit must have been going at the speed of light as it is suddenly and forcefully propelled from your mouth. We can't count that last one, but you broke the record at 37. Here's your money back. Congratulations. You feel sick. <laughs> You've been poisoned. Again. Yay! I was already poisoned, so whatever. 9 HP poison. We're fine. I mean, I have a bunch of these anti-poison. Might as well just take one. Boom. There you go. No, the 9 HP is not about eating those. I just fought a bunch of rodents. Trader. Oh my god. I thought by doing that, she might finally ask questions without me having to eat every time I want to ask some questions. Fuck that. Stay away from the Brahmin fries. I'm gonna check something. Did it give me some uh, some kind of perk or something? You never know in this game. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Get out. I should talk to um, Sulek about this place. Hmm. Oh. Eh? Oh no, there's one here also. There's a locker in every room. I'm sure they're all empty. I think this is the crazy dude. Hmm. 
Hey, nice. How's it going? Why is this smooth? Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. My name is Rose, I mean Cornelius. <laughs> and I run this bed and breakfast, can I help you? If you run this place, then how come it's called Rose's Bed and Breakfast? I can't even call him on it. Um, I'm looking for a cold watch. <laughs> Partner. I don't want to piss the guy off. He's a few weeks short of an omelette. Yeah. Something like that. No, we're good. Let's go with this. Whatever. Rose is my wife. I named this place after her. Did you, did you know I'm married? Uh, gold watch? Then why don't you ask that no good pharaoh? Maybe he'll sell you the watch he stole from me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. I got to shop the Brandon. What do you do here? I run this motel, yet yeah, this place would fall apart if it were for me. Have you been to the outhouse? Cleanest outhouse you've ever been to. That's my doing. What does having a clean outhouse, out, outhouse have to do with running this place? Ladies is a smart dog. I tell, I talk to him all the time. Hmm, certain one seems to set him off. Rose, room, running. Rose's dogs are vicious, but I just throw them some jerky and they pay me no mind. Farrell's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> I saw Johnny playing by the well with his dog Laddie. What a nice kid. Grisham is a nice fellow. He sells us, he sells us scraps to feed the giant chicken. Oh. oh, I think I know what the giant chicken is. Stay away from the chicken coop. I almost lost an arm if you need a thing. Rose's dogs are vicious. I was sitting on the toilet one day and a big dog climbed out of the sewer. Scared me half to death. I hear Grisham is trying to marry off his kids. I wonder if Rose wouldn't mind if I got another wife. That was my best friend. Davin is nice because I wonder why he doesn't look anything like his father. Don't go to the ghost farm on this way. You're tired of living. <laughs> Interesting. I remember this. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't think that's a condition that exists in this world. Uh, who's Rose? Yeah, we know who's Rose. I thought you said Rose is your wife. Rose is my wife. She runs the kitchen. Rose, she's so beautiful. I'm going to marry her someday. Ah, <laughs> oh, then you come here. Uh, Rose? You need some serious help. No, don't do that. We don't need to insult you. Uh, okay, we're good. Oh man, that rope. Whoops. Shit. Didn't I have a crowbar? And a, yeah, I have a crowbar. I had a rope. Did I? I just sold it. Fuck, I need it back. <laughs> I thought I had a rope. Rope, crowbar, and... A shovel, there's a bunch of stuff you need. Some tools. What the fuck? The door is open, why are you... Oh, 
Oh, the dog is there. Okay. Yeah, I need that rope back. She now has a rope and 25 bucks. 58 bucks, fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, whatever. <laughs> that was a mistake. I tried starting this the other night, but I got very frustrated in the first dungeon because I kept missing in battle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Attack, miss, attack, miss, attack, miss. Wait to real action point, attack, miss. Yeah. Well, it depends. Did you create a character that's a fighter? I mean, that first dungeon is not good anyway. So just, just finish the first dungeon, move on with the game. If the rest of the game doesn't, maybe it's not for you. But it depends. If you're not doing a combat build, avoid combat, and yeah, you will miss. It's fine. It's like Dungeons and Dragons. You hit, you miss. You hit, you miss. Where's the key? There's no key, or you need to lockpick the door. You don't need no skills. I did it in this playthrough with like, with the starting uh, lockpick, and now it's 44, but it was like 25 or 22. I don't think there's a key. I didn't find it. You can bash the door also, I think, or put some explosive maybe. This game is really try stuff. You need to really try some stuff, and sometimes stuff will work, and you'll be like, "Oh, okay, great, thanks, <laughs> perfect." Something that looks broken. Oh, use the tool on it. Boom. Oh. I would highly suggest reading the manual if it, if you didn't do it. It's that kind of game. Okay, we've explored everything in Roses Bed and Breakfast. Did we talk to everyone? You? No. Okay. Oh, isn't the watch like just beside him? Doesn't seem like it. I checked in the things, right? Because that watch is somewhere. It might be in the toilet or something. It'll be different than than, than all uh, JRPG, but there's a couple of JRPG or tactical like Final Fantasy Tactics. This town is dying. Watching somebody play can sometimes get you into. Uh... Oh, that's how it works. Okay, okay. Then the game's more enjoyable after that. After that. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Good stuff. Read this, this is super important. It's not big enough. Oh, I have a shovel here. Hey, Pum, good, good, good evening to you. Hell yeah, toilet watch. Yeah, we're gonna go into the. Um... Oh, they don't attack us. <laughs> What's going on? Like to get these rocks out of the way, I uh, I knew they would attack me. You might have to put some explosive there. But you never know if it'll work and unless you try it. 
It's like in real life. <laughs> oh, 9 HP. That's not good. And a glitch. At least I can, use, I can check OBS what's going on. Hmm, 9 HP. Um, I saved that too long ago, I'm sure. I'm not using any stim packs. Hey, the cops are coming. They're helping us. Sonic! <laughs> are they attacking the cops? Ah! Oh. Okay, my dog is attacking the other dog. <laughs> dog is running away. Don't chase it. I can move around. <laughs> oh, anyway, it works. I should just play inside the OBS preview. <laughs> what the fuck? This is complete chaos. Finally, just kill them. Oh, now the town people are attacking Sulik. Okay. That's not good. Shit, what the fuck's going on? Okay, yeah, that's fine. We are not going in there. Okay, let's visit the ba the, the bathroom. <laughs> oh, what's this? Monsieur? Yes, monsieur, micro twist? Okay, uh, let's see here. Clear more rats. Down the poop hole. Whatever, man. <laughs> Is it okay? <laughs> the early stream is just a bonus stream. So... I need to explode this. I think I can drop something in there, but I have no explosives, I have nothing that could do the job, that's me, uh, oh I need to do this, steal. The shovel... I would be surprised. There's nothing here except some rocks. If I shoot here... <laughs> We're all dead. I have to shoot, I add something? I thought this would explode because of the methane. They talked about the methane. <laughs> Don't shoot the dog. It was just a test, I reloaded. 
You'll be fine. And that watch, it's a dumb thing, like it's on him or something. I'll try to steal from the guy, but it's there. It's it's either right there or unless it's at the ghost farm, but I remember it being stupid. The fact that I remember it means that I got stuck on it and it annoyed me. <laughs> no, he doesn't have it. I find it funny that looking, and that's in pretty much every RPG, you can usually look at the guy's inventory without seeing anything and it's it's not going to be a problem. Only if you steal stuff it's a problem. Like I could check into your your stuff and you wouldn't mind on you like. <laughs> can I check in your pocket? No. What's this guy doing? Anyway, we'll come back here and there's some stuff to do. Some stuff to do outside of town. Oh, this is the church. There's nothing in there. It's just an empty church. Um, I don't understand in this... Well, I guess they, there is a... Didn't I, did I ever come here? Huh? Oh, the gold watch. Great jumping orny jacko snatchers. Is Cornelius still looking for his lost watch? Oh, I can talk to everybody about the watch. Why can't he accept that it's gone? That dang watch never worked anyways. And it'll be a Brahmin's uncle if it actually if it was actually made of gold. Give it up. Actually, Farrell asked me to look for it. A barter? You've got to be kidding. Everyone knows Farrell took the watch. Why would he ask you to search for it? Unless Farrell didn't steal the watch after all. Or maybe this is a trick to convince everyone he didn't take it. I need to think this out. Shit. Let's talk to these people about the watch. Let's talk to everyone about the watch. Oh, we can't. Let's get it on! <laughs> no, we're not getting it on. Nope, I haven't seen it anywhere. Okay, that was quick. Why can't I ask him and not her? So many mad people. Mad by you mean crazy? <laughs> no, you don't have it on yourself. What about you? Nope. Mad as an angry. Yeah, and follow two people get mad, mad easier. Maybe. Oh no! Don't become a slaver. Does this game punish you for not playing like a goody two shoes? Well, you don't have to be a goody two shoes. But yeah, if you become a slaver, that's bad. <laughs> There's stuff that are clearly bad. 
But no, you can be an asshole and it's not gonna be the end of the world. This game kind of expects you to to be rough with your choices and take the the, the cash and and be a like a, an asshole. And I'll be back when I okay. Yeah, I need to go uh, to the. So I can't talk to him about the watch. Ah, uh, let's talk to to him. He's grieving. Uh, please find Johnny. We did find Johnny. Okay, then fuck it. Let's go to the, the, the ghost house. Slaughter, we did that. Well, that's the slaughterhouse itself. Oh, this guy, that's new. I think it was too late maybe when I was here. Oh. <laughs> okay. I uh, we need to sleep. In this game, you have two things to watch out for. There's... Uh, no, it's not here. It's character. Karma. You have your karma. That's just your karma. The more you do good things, this goes up. It can go like to... I think 2,000 or something. It's crazy. And then you have your reputation in each of the towns. So you can have... You could have good karma, but have a bad reputation. Because you did something somewhere. But your karma is still good. Now you could have re really, really bad karma and still be idolized in most people, most town. You'll have trouble being idolized everywhere and having bad karma because if you're idolized, that's because you did good things, usually. But usually, towns have multiple factions, multiple people around, so yeah. Lots of stuff to do, lots of choices. Not all choices have consequences. This might be enough to heal me. 17. Yeah. It should. I'll not say what it is. Ghost Town. Yeah, I remember this. Something doesn't look right. <laughs> These bodies appear to be fake. Nothing but dummies covered in brown and innards. Ah, that's my perception. Yeah, I guess. It's just stay. Okay. There's something in there. I think it's on the on the west side. I'm going here first. <laughs> yeah, this is big. Oh. Yeah, there's this thing, but I think there's something in the... Like, the entrance is in the, the cornfield. The real entrance. This might be trap. Yeah, this is a trap. So obvious. Holy shit. Oh, now that's. I've been instructed to take all services to Vajir. You will not be armed. Please come with us. I'd like to ask you some questions. Vajir will answer all your questions. Please come with us. Vajir. <laughs> I go peacefully. I'm a peaceful guy. 
A visitor are convenient. I've been contemplating on a way to make contact with the surfacers, but now I don't have to worry about that thanks to your timely arrival. Welcome to the home of the slags. I'll just be going now. What do you want with me? Barter? <laughs> Ooh, that's it. Okay. A simple request. We need to make contact with the town to the southwest. I believe it is called Modoc. Yeah, of course. What do I get out of this? Are you free then? <laughs> I have many questions to ask before I can possibly take this mission. Fair enough, I wouldn't expect anyone to blindly ex accept, accept tasks from strangers without first learning a little bit about them. Ask your question and I will answer them as best as I can. Why don't you send one of your own people? Since the ceiling, we as a people have changed. Few can bear to be on the surface because they are not used to having a black seal of nothingness above them. <laughs> They're like dwarves. Uh, or is it? Uh, or droves? The sensation of falling upward is so great for them that they are they lie frozen, clutching the ground. But that is not the main reason. The main reason. All of us cannot stand the bright light of that which you call the sun. Living underground for so long has made our eyes too sensitive to light. We cannot travel far from the safety of our homes beneath the ground. People. Once long ago we were once like the surfacers. We too dwelled above ground until the world above caught fire. Our ancestors, who were part of a secret militia, sealed themselves in their families down here for protection for generations. Down here we've remained safely hidden within the womb of Mother Earth. Defenses. Enough! Ah oh, shit. What was the other defenses? Why did I ask? I thought it was cool. Uh, yeah, I'll carry my message, your message. And you would understand. Here's a message relaying our request. Please take it to Modoc and give it to the person in charge. Return here when your task is complete. I will tell the protectors to expect your return. We thank you for doing us this service. Oh, you have ghouls here. Lag. Cool, I'm going to take all your stuff. I guess I can't go there. Oh no, this is where I exit. No, we're not exempting right now. Okay. As far as a collection of beverages. What's it like above ground? need to give them is this and this uh, and these bullets I don't need them right now these bullets we don't need that and uh, the rest of the stuff I want to sell so yeah I want to sell all this I guess I have another painting so maybe, maybe I should sell it Wow, you guys are loaded.
swigs of beer. Daddy, I've missed you, boy. Thank you for bringing my doy back to me. He's not dead, Johnny! Is your name Johnny? Yes, it is. How did you know? Laddie must have told you. She's such a smart dog. Your mother and father have sent me to find you. You're coming back with me, kid. There's a reward for bringing you back. And that's sweet. I wanted to go home, but Vigor... Vigir, Vigir, I don't know, says... These people can't travel that far above ground, and it wouldn't take me. Not that I doubt you, but what's my father's name? Shit, I think it's Joshua. I have to go by now, fuck you. It's about this. I'm going home, ask Vajir if it's alright for you to take me home, he's been so nice, I don't know. I'm almost sick. Please hurry. The water pump. I can fuck up the wire we want. The water pump? No, I can't get there. It says I can't get there, I can't get there. Large tank that holds liquid, in this case you believe that it was designed to store water, but I don't think you can do anything with it. of shovels. Yeah, I'll take all the shovels. That's free money right there. I can't. Then that door closes. So the door closes behind me. Another fucking shovel. You want a shovel? Let me guess. You don't use shovel in this game. Oh, you do use shovels in this game. I use the shovel once at least. Nope. Oh, they're domesticating mole rats? Giant mole rats. Okay, we're done. Uh, can I ask him if the Oh uh Is it okay with the boy? He said to ask him, right? Oh, this is not done. get the message first I think before being able to talk to him uh, is it possible to get the stuff above here
You do know you can enter from the back door. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we appear here, which is kind of weird. Wow, down the John <laughs> Grisham's Brevin Pastures. Yeah, let's go back to Pastures. Oh no, this is the Brevin Pastures. Yeah, we did. This is over. This is definitely done. Right? Not sure. Okay, let's uh, bring a message to who? Joe. Who the fuck is Joe? Hey, Grisham. Hey, Davin. Joe is Joshua. There's no one in there. Joe. The sheriff, you're back. What did you find out about the farm? Did I check you for barter stuff? I think I did. He has explosive, so I can get explosive here if I want. Leader. Slags, who are they? What's this? Joe opens and reads the message. This is incredible! They've been living underground all this time? They say they've been willing to trade food for medical supplies and other stuff. I don't know if they can be trusted. After all, they killed Carl and all those other people. What do you think? All those bodies are fake. Nothing but dummies covered in Brahmin innards. They just wanted to keep you from stealing their crops. I found Carl at the den. He left because no one would believe him about the ghost and he was very scared. He was scared. Fakes? Fake? But I saw the bodies with my own eyes. In any case, Carl is still missing. How do they explain that? I won't trust them until I'm certain they're up. I found Carl at the den. That's because no one leaves in the ghost. Oh, at the den. Ooh, level up. Shocked. The den? Uh, uh, I guess we're a little hard on him. I, I can't imagine what, what he went through at the ghost farm. With nobody believing him and all. You see he's a drunkard now? At the den? If you could give him the message that we believe him and that he should come, should come back home, I would be most appreciative. In the meantime, believe it's about time to slay the slags and the resident of Mordor get acquainted. So it's... It's the den, but what the fuck is his name? Uh, well, you see, I don't really know anything about this holy geek thank you looking for. You have to be understand, we were desperate. However, I do know a place called Gecko. It's a ways east of here somewhere. If I were a betting man, I would wager your geek is always located there. I wish I had more I could give you, but we're still a poor community with not much in the ways of offering. The best I can do is offer you goods at basically my cost, but I'd be honored to help keep you stock for your journeys when I have the goods that I'm sure any of the other residents would be equally grateful if you asked them. Thank you. Save us all. 3,500 XP. Holy shit. And yeah, our karma is not really higher, but in Modoc, we're just accepted. We're not even idolized. You have saved the town of Modoc. There you go. Oh. Does it say that for all the town that you save? Because at the end of the game, they kind of do a, like a summary of, like an epilogue of what happens afterwards. Like what happens to this town? What happens to this town? It's difficult to get every town okay because sometimes you do something for one, but it'll affect another one negatively. I remember trying to do all the good endings, and. Finding it pretty frustrating. Going 
gold watch? What? Are you trying to be a wise ass? Everyone knows old Corny lost his gold pocket watch. He even had me search his best friend's house looking for it. If you know what's good for you, you keep your nose out of this. Good day. Ah, oh, man, I need to go talk to... what's his name? Carl. I need to write it down because it's not there unless it's here. Clamat. Uh, then... No. No. Okay, the rule done. The rule done problem. Let's clear that up. Uh, no, it's not you. It was at the start of this playthrough, so it's at the. It's here. It, this is done. There's no one here. There's nothing. We got the XP for clearing the field? But when you talk to this guy... I don't know. I didn't need to. Mentioned something about the watch earlier. Can you take me to your garden? Does somebody know what's going on? I did the quest and now we... I can't make him acknowledge I did the quest. It still says here, Pharaoh. That's him, right? That's Pharaoh. Pharaoh wants you to find him. Pharaoh has a rodent problem. Remove the infestation. That's done. And he's still not acknowledged that it's done. I hope it wasn't a great reward. So the other thing that I can do is get the kid. There's that fucking watch, that's annoying. No, I we we were just there. We were just there, there's no more. I, I don't I, I won't even show you because it's a waste of time. Uh, like one minute ago we were there. I went everywhere and did that. 
this is supposed to show me everything clear as day and I went around stopped at key points checked it's like it's done there's nothing else even when I did it I even got a bonus 300 XP when I cleared the field so and I'm pretty sure it said you clear the field here's your 300 XP so I don't know what's going on Uh, now I want to... Yeah, let's save the kid. Save the kid first. We do need to go back and tell him we delivered the message, I guess. Maybe not. Ooh. Oh man, you will come with us. Leave us alone. I will never support the cause of your superiors. I will not ask you again. Come now, or you will be made of example of. I would rather... I would rather that knowledge I have disappear with me in the grave. So be it. Kill them all. This is none of your affair. Turn around and walk away. This guy is so beef. It's crazy. It's like... Twice the science of these dudes makes no sense. The guy is like four meters high. We can't do anything right now, okay. These guys have nothing on them, yeah. yeah. This is kind of a mandatory cutscene that you get, uh, maybe when you get level 5. Oh yeah, speaking of level 6, we did level up. Um, character. When it's perk, you gain plus one to your strength when you know, that's shit. Uh, bonus move, that's cool. Bonus range damage. That's... I've read that this is cool for an um, automatic weapon. Because it's plus two points of damage for each bullet. So that's kind of crazy. Cautious nature... No. No. Comprehension, no. Sequence, no. Educated, no. Empathy, no. I once used empathy. I think on my first playthrough I've used this. You see color in when you ask, talk to people, it's obvious what's gonna piss them off, but this tells you exactly what will piss them off and what, what they like and what they don't like. Evo, it's kinda cool. Do it once. And no here and now, no magnetic personality, no more critical. Maybe night vision. I'm not getting a lot of critical right now. Might not take it because I want to get to Slayer, a sniper. And once you get sniper, you really don't get it. You don't need more criticals. Night vision, pack crap, pocket. Quick pocket. This is two action point instead of four to get your inventory. I kind of like that. Quick recovery. Ranger. No. No. Isn't Sniper at 24 level, I think, in the second game? Exact, that's why I want I won't take it, because more crit is not useful if I have sniper. So there's bonus damage. I think eventually I'm gonna do bonus uh, range attack is better, but I don't think I get it right now. There's also bonus move. Two free X's each turn. For my character, I think it's it's kind of good. I don't know. Yeah, there's explosive at the general store. Damn. 
You know, I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> we don't need it right now. What did you recommend? Ah. It's either quick pocket or or more damage or uh, the moves thing. I think you can enter this uh, first, like before even going to the hut. I tried this, I think, once, but maybe it's locked. I can't remember. Bonus move is great. Yeah, right. Yeah, bonus rate of fire, that's what I'm missing, that's what I want. Yeah, next level, cool. Small dusty box of some sort. Yeah, pick up all the garbage. How good of you to return, I take it you delivered the message. The message was received well, the town of Modoc would like to establish trade with your people. They need to think this over, they have some reservation, I want to take Johnny on to its parents. I see you met Johnny. We found him wandering in the darkness of one of their, our deepest tunnels. He said he had fallen down a dry well by his house. And then he was trapped in a tunnel by a cave-in. We have treated him as one of our own and he is loved by all. So you will understand that I am wary of entrusting him to a stranger who has yet to prove himself to be as trustworthy. I'll return Johnny when I'm sure he will make it home safely. Thank you for helping us. You will always be welcome here for your services. I view this as a reward. Assault rifle. You have proven your trustworthiness without doubt. Despite the fact that we'll miss the old Johnny here, <laughs> we have arranged an escort for you and Johnny to go back to Modoc right now. Boom, we appear in Modoc. Not anything else to do there? I don't think so. Barter with him? Hmm. He had that automatic gun. Back Modoc. Let's go to... Uh, my quick save. Fast shot trait also works with melee and unarmed strangely, so with bonus and to an attack, all my attacks are 1 AP. I remember doing, I remember one playthrough, I don't know what happened, but all my attacks were 1 AP with a gun. I don't know if it was a special gun or whatever. It might have been 2 AP, but it was just ridiculous. Ridiculous. It might be in the first game, it might be in the second game, I don't remember. It was at the end game, it was not at the start, I couldn't do that at the beginning of the game. The Mr. would receive well, the Town of Modoc would like to establish trade with your people. Uh, yeah, Barter. One and... But one and then Fallout 2 just gives you a bonus, uh, percentage bonus to hit. Fast shot gives you the like, minus one AP. No, I, I thought he had a gun on him. I'm sure he had a fucking gun. I guess he has a gun in his hand now. Whatever. Uh, with the message, go back to his parents and go back to Modoc. Thank you for returning my boy to me. There's no one I can even repay you. But please take this leather armor as thanks. I've been experimenting with new curing processes. I think you find this armor very durable. And besides, you look great. This one? Is it better than this? I doubt it. This is... Uh, 23 AC. 26? Yeah, it is better. Um, yeah, it's all around better. I need to give this to Solik if he wants it. What you be needing? Oh shit! I need what to talk to him about. Uh... 
You got it, friend. I'll come back. Pissed on. It's 85 hit points. Nice. It's a machine. Aggressive. What you be needing? What you be needing? Spirits be willing to talk. He who's with the spirits isn't. That's what they said. What? You oh yeah, yeah. I, I consulted him last time. With you. Thank you for returning, Johnny. Is he giving me discounts? Oh yeah, so five hundred bucks. Sonic has at least one, I think so. Fuck that. I need to sell this. So much to this guy. What is this worth? Three hundred bucks. There you go. Like I never, never buy. The never put skills into the the barter skill. I don't think you need it. Just be like me and just sell everything, every crap you find. You should be fine with money. Okay, so going into um, I need some explosive. This is different than last time I went here. Last time there was two of these. Ugh, fuck. Okay, we'll exchange. Uh, no. Man, I hope I really need those explosives. Uh, I'm due for a break right now. Okay, let's buy them. <laughs> at, he's supposed to sell me this at cost. Fuck you. Hmm, a shotgun. 
850. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. What you be needing? Oh, I think I have nothing to sell. No, that's it. Okay, we'll use a little bit of money then. That's fine. Yeah, I look way better in that armor. They made a... <laughs> it was dumb because they made a better armor that looked like crap. Like, I hate the leather armor. This is called the leather shirt or thing. This is the same as the leather shirt the guy did. So they made a better leather shirt that makes you don't look like crap. <laughs> 850. So let's give him some money. Uh, it's gonna be 300, right? No, it's gonna be fucking 400. Okay. Could trade my ass. I think I can just drop the explosive in there, maybe. Fuck it. Living, living dangerously. <laughs> it's... <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> We didn't die. Sodic is frustrated and now we're dead for reals. And has claimed your life. Arroyo attempts to send out others to search for the Gek, but they die quickly, and the village soon follows. made it out of the hole just in time for the explosion to go off and behind you, sending you flying through the air. Woo! And we got poop everywhere, yay! Do we need some rope? Level up? Again? Sudok has gained some abilities. Oh nice, uh, Sudok leveled up. What you be need? More ex more HP? 93. <laughs> weapon use? Use best weapon. Yeah. Of course. Um, yeah, maybe I, I should go with bonus move. That's what you said, yeah, right. Yeah, bonus move. Bonus. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of points to put. 63 fucking points. <laughs> and I wanted to uh, buy some books for this. This is just too much. Let's put this at 125. Let's put lockpick. Oh no, let's put a lot of points in small arm. Fuck that. I'm done. Ugh. Again, I wanted to buy some books, but when when I when will I be able to buy some books for the small guns?
What happens if I dump all the other points in there? Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is leave it exactly like this. And just wait for these points. But I'm going to put points in speech, science. 91 don't work. Okay, 91. I can still get another bunch of points, free points. Then it's going to be lockpick, a little bit of repair, and eventually we're going to put some points in energy weapons. I'll never have to tag another skill because we are, will have a lot of skill points. You might have been right about the gifted thing, but I tried gifted in uh, resurrection. Was it resurrection? Yeah, it was resurrection, and it gave me some trouble. Might have been because of my build. I don't know. Yeah, for now. For now. The game has been pretty cool with the critters, like they don't, yeah exactly, there's not really a lot of big, big ones. Uh, yeah, we already have a gun. Solik, charge! Solik! Solik! Fuck you! Oh, no, 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 no. Guns. So that Solik doesn't do shit here for some reason. Fuck you, Solik. New ability is my ass. <laughs> no, he's not a bad game. <laughs> yeah, I think the main problem was that I, I was really low level. Like here, I'm level 7, and we're not even at Vault City yet. And there's so much stuff to do in Vault City, and then there's new Reno. And then there's so many more, like it's just, we just scratched the surface of the game and I'm level 7? Level 7 in Resurrection, I was halfway through the game and maybe more. And I, I mentioned in when I was playing uh, Resurrection that they were so stingy on the fucking XP. You would do, like I, I just got 3500 XP for saving MODOK. 3000 XP. The game just gives you XP. We leveled up twice in an hour. Hey, Guck, how's it going? It's just a bad... It's like just a couple of tweaks and it would have been so good. I talked about it a lot when I played it. What is this, fruit? Another shovel? Do you want another shovel? Here's another shovel. Uh, what was the reason for going here? <gasps> the watch! Oh, no, it was the watch. It was not the... So it was here, the watch. So somebody shit it out or something. <laughs> he just threw it in there. This, this thing picked it up, maybe. I don't know what happened. We have the watch. I was supposed to take a break. This game is too good. You just want ah, oh, just one more thing. Is that one more thing kind of game? Just one more thing. Okay, let's bring the watch. Um, bring the watch to whom? Right? We could bring it to one or the other. Let's save. Oh, if you want to do something uh, in the. Anyone who wants to do that uh, while I might break is checking if there's something weird going on with this mission. This mission here. Fowl has a rodent problem in his garden. Remove the infestation. I've been there. I've done that. 
twice. There's nothing else to do. I got the XP for removing the infestation, 300 XP. But that's it. Is there anything else? Or is this kind of glitched out? So, if you have some time and you want to check it out, Google it. Oh, this is the brightness. <laughs> okay, don't touch the brightness. And now I'm going where? Yeah, bring the watch. Bring the watch. No dark explosives. No, not exactly. With SimCity 3000, you have more power to build and control your city than ever before. Recreate your version of the world's greatest cities using landscapes such as San Francisco or Berlin and landmark buildings like the Empire State Building or Big Ben. Create your own unique buildings using the SimCity Building Architect Tool. Then zoom in close to your metropolis as it comes to life with people and traffic in living color and full 3D sound. All new missions and cool disasters test your abilities to run your city or destroy it. SimCity 3000, the city is yours.
スクエアニュース本日発売前より話題沸騰の「聖剣伝説2」のゲーム画面が発表になりましたのでご紹介しますいやー実に美しい画面ですねさすがスクエアこれまで以上のリアルなグラフィックで緊張感もおのずと盛り上がりますしかしこの「聖剣伝説2」の最大の目玉は何といっても今巷で噂のモーションバトルですこのアクション画面で戦闘シーンを行うというシステムによって RPG の新しい面白さが飛躍的に広がるこれがモーションバトルもう従来の RPG とは一線を画すエンターテインメントです「聖剣伝説2」Okay, we're back. Oh, I just read the rodents move quickly if you run fast enough. Okay, I'm gonna check it out one last time. <clears throat> I hope you're there to, to witness.、Oh. I'm gonna bring the, pla the gold watch to the guy. What are you doing? You're a hero. Am I a hero? No, you're not idolizing me yet. Every town needs to idolize me. I need to be your god. Where is it?、Um, the rats ran off. Oh, that's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible. Like, like I said, I got the 300 XP for doing the thing. You have to take all the elements into account. Why did I get 300 XP? For killing a rat. I, I killed a rat and boom, 300 XP. Where did that come from? So clearly the game said you did the thing. There's something wrong, I'm pretty sure.、Uh, the gold watch. I have it. Oh, where is Farrell? You're not Farrell.、Uh, Farrell is the first guy. He's just beside where I return from the. He's right beside here.、Yeah. Pe yeah, enemies can go pre. like way off screen. Like, I'm aware of that. Oh, there's a big lump of poo that just appeared. <laughs> there's fucking poo everywhere. His house is full of shit. Is this the watch? Let me see that. Yes, yes, this is it. You said a rat living down the sewage hole stole it, and you climbed down there and retrieved it? Ew. I'm gonna give this to Cornelius right now. Your house, dude. Ew. Now we can be friends again. Thank you. A thousand five hundred XP in、uh, Resurrection. This two fifty. I'm not kidding. Like a a que like a go a fetch quest. A hundred two hundred XP. A quest like this two fifty. Like a big big quest. Five hundred. Max, it's just dumb. It's not dumb. I mean, in this, in Fallout 2, I think they give too much XP. But Resurrection just went the opposite. Ah, no, I didn't see that. But why the fucking three? I'll need to check the VOD garden. We're going back. So I just hope that they don't, they didn't run off screen. So, you're saying just scour, scour the edges? I mean, he's not even going there now. Ah, there is something I could do with this version of Fallout, which is the GOG version, but it comes with S Fall and S Fall. Let's you do stuff. Cool stuff. Yeah, let's do this. Save. 
exit game, yes. And option screen settings. You see that? Yes, okay. Uh, there's a thing. Ignore PC scroll limit. Unlimited scrolling. So that might help. Maybe having a like really big resolution. <laughs> we'll see what happens if I don't do the scaling. Boom. This is how everyone plays the Deus Ex. This game. But in widescreen. But look at this shit. I can't read anything. It doesn't even look good. Does this look good to you? This looks like shit. The whole map is there. I, this is the map. <laughs> Fuck that. I can't believe that. Dave, do you play that? I don't want to judge you, but... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. How can you... Anyways. It's an acquired taste, maybe. If you have a gigantic screen, maybe. <laughs> but, but, but higher resolution. This is essentially 1080p, a little less. In terms of horizontal resolution. Okay, but the screen limit doesn't really... Uh, yeah, I can't really... Yeah, like I said, I clicked on this. And I looked around. And I didn't see... Any red spots or... Because sometimes they're just at the edges. Anyway. I'm guessing it's not like... The quest. I might not be missing that much. Run along the south? Okay. Ah, it's kind of annoying though. Like here, I can't go here. Can't even go there. Apparently. Reward 300 XP, I got my XP. Uh, exit game because I want to change the screen settings. It's good old fun. I guess this is a little zoomed in, but I can't have in between, so. <laughs> it's still pretty fine. I like being able to look at my characters. Okay, we've done everything here. And like I said, this is one of the bugs that uh, it doesn't get scratched out. I know I did it, it's fine. Clamat, we're done. Then, Freevik, a car part, Arroyo, retrieve the gig. Auto maps. Oh, you can go back to your maps. Oh, archives. Okay. Oh, it's funny because this is we're now again to Vault City. This is exactly what I was about to write, so... To Vault City it is. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Soon. City finally that was a long uh, I didn't think it was that long getting there I thought it was really at the beginning of the game it is still at the beginning of the game we're still at the beginning of the game
should have went like here. But like going around this would have been faster? Maybe not. A pack of wild dogs, right? Uh. Oh! Unit fending off wild dogs. These are patrol guards. Okay, so they shouldn't attack us. Let's go. Dogs, who gives a shit anyways? I should just run away. Yeah, it's a waste of time. Unless these guys tell me something. Yeah, fuck it. It just destroyed them. Okay, let's go back. If I would have shot one dog, would I get XP for... Or because I didn't even get into the fight here. What are you doing on Vault City? Oh, you're a Vault City dude. Gecko. It was on my, my map, as supposedly. <clears throat> Gecko. No, it's not there. Unless it's this unknown thing. I thought he told me where it was, he just told me about it. You are at the outskirt of Vault City. Inside the wall lies orderly rows of pristine white adult building. Okay, this is one of the coolest places in the game. Uh, let's wait till morning. Morning. This music is nice. Talk to Wallace if you're looking to get into the city. Yeah, this is not the city. <laughs> and this is already like secured and like way better secured. The, the houses are great. Um, but no, this is not the city proper. Desert trash. This is me, the desert trash? Great. And the desert trash. Get out of my face. Greeting office. I guess this is where we come. Greeting office. There's no one. <laughs> There's no one. <laughs> what a fucking joke. Oh yeah, let's lock big this shit. It's locked. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy to have put some points in lockpick. And we'll be putting more. Ah, oh, lockpick, man. I've missed you. Are you okay? You look upset, Bart. I, well, it, I, I, it's my husband, Joshua. Joshua? He got into some trouble in the bar. He accidentally struck a citizen and was arrested. He didn't mean to, but he did drink. No. There was another Joshua, I think. Arrested. Where is he now? If he was drunk and attacked someone, then he should be arrested. Inside the city, in the servant allocation center, they said he could work off his prison sentence as a servant. But that'll take years. If he was wrong and attacked, then he should be arrested. 
Well, I, I don't have much money left, and we'll have to leave soon if we can't afford to pay guards for protection. They said if we want to stay with Joshua, then they could make us servants too. That sounds like a solution. They treat servants pretty well in both city, don't they? <laughs> Let me see what I can do, okay? Maybe I can talk to someone at the allocation center. I can help you. It's gonna cost you. No, let's go with this. The man in charge is Barkus, Officer Barkus. I couldn't even get in inside the city to see him. I don't even know if Joshua is alright. I don't worry, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, what's our um, what's our karma? Defender still. Yeah, we need better than that. Come on. Mr. Nixon. Well now, I ain't seen you around before, stranger. Name's Cassidy. I run this place. Cassidy, I think you can hire this guy. That would be nice. But I want to do everything I can. Maybe I, I don't want to barter with him if I get his stuff. I'm looking for the fall. What have you got on top? Anything interested? What have you got? Beer shot. I'm looking for the vault. Vault! Only vault I know of is the one inside the city. Big frigging hole. You can't miss it, trust me. <laughs> interesting, eh, friend? Vault City ain't an interesting place. Unless the guards get bored, then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You looking for someone, something in this sinkhole? Looking for the vault. Take a beer. Oh, really? Well, hell then. I must be mistaken, considering you're the authority and all. And all. I guess you must have been napping during the raid last week. Raid? Oh, yeah. A beautiful sight it was. A guard patrol broke in here looking for illegal substances. They busted down the door, busted up my stock, then busted up a few of my customers to bust it. Busted. What happened after that? After... Oh, you know what? After they all the way this one guy, Joshua, for resisting arrest, they find my ass, fired my ass for finding... Get this. Real whiskey on the premises. Never mind that I got a permit from start three months ago. Bastards. Whoa, no kidding. It get it gets better. Now I'm in debt to the guards for the fine and, and I'll add to buy a new case of alcohol from a merchant at triple my standard rate. I'm expecting the guards to come knocking again soon, just to but bust my chops. What's it like most of the time? Hope things look up for the future. <laughs> Even the good days ain't worth a damn. The citizens don't drink much, so I'm stuck here pouring drinks for merchants. The next cheap son of a bitch who haggles for a drink is going to be wearing my ass. It is ass as a hat. Oh, it's gonna be an ass hat? <laughs> Why are you here if you ate it so much? I have a bad heart. Need cardio booster ch shots to keep it beating. This city is the only place to get real medical care. So I thought I'd settle here, try and make a living. You sound pretty fed up with the place. Makes me want to close up so shop and let the city rot. Screw them all. Why don't you leave? Kind of to this waste by, by myself? Uh, I'm sick of this place, but I ain't stupid. I'm gonna go that way again. <laughs> what way? <coughs> Outside of here? Why don't you come along? We're going in. Hey, serious? Sure, why the hell not? You look like you know how to care take care of, your, uh, of yourself in a fight. On second thought, it's pretty dangerous out there. No. Alright. Let's hit it. Oh yeah! Yeah, Cassidy is pretty good, that guy. Shotgun, stuff like that. I have a rifle for you. Questions? Oh, no questions. Uh, distance? Uh, stay close. The gear? What kind of weapons? Shotguns, rifle mostly, just personal preference. I ain't bad shot with pistols. 
else if you ever need to learn some buddy some manners up close slip me some brass knuckles and i can tap dance on their face with my fists excellent i have that also anything else well just between you and me i can also use a spear pretty good me and my buddies used to hunt rat scorpions with spears way back when in fact i'm alive and they ain't might tell you something nothing wrong with using a spear don't want people mistaking me for old bone nose over there <laughs> I ain't never seen no tribal do something as dumb as jam a bone in his nose. Do you know that I am a tribal? Oh, that'd be playing with old Cassidy now. You ain't no tribal. Yes, I am. Well, damn it all. You can have my apology right here and now. I didn't mean any offense. Sure, you didn't. Look, I had some other question. <laughs> I'm not offended. You got that. I need to tell you something you might not like. Okay, trade. Yeah, let's trade. Oh, I don't have the thingy. It has a sort of shotgun. Combat. Uh, what's the armor? The other armor? That's fine. Skills. That's small. Yeah, small gun. Yeah, that makes sense. It can, small guns can also be big guns. When I was young, I just couldn't, like, yawn. I mean, I played this, I was like, what, 18? Small guns for me were pistols. Like, a sniper rifle, that's a small gun? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, combat. Yeah, yeah, there's other things. Custom. Burst. Uh be absolutely sure run away yeah range then melee distance on your own stay where you are stay close to me Stay close to me. Whoever you want. Whoever you want would absolutely sure you won't hit me might help. Like if you go with the strongest and he can't burst. On your own is best. I still want him to stay close to me. I'm pretty weak. Stimpaks when hurt a lot. Yeah, but I'll be standing and shooting also. I'll I'll try it out. Just for now. And I stay close. Stimpaks when hurt a lot. That's usually what I do, stay close to me for everybody that's following me. I do that in Fallout and if I'm playing a melee a uh, melee character it doesn't work, but a range character. Anyway, I'll, I'll try it out like that. Uh, Stimpaks when hurt a lot. Attack. Yep. I still need to trade what some stuff you with you. I don't want him to necessarily use the assault rifle right now. He's gonna plow through those bullets. And this is the. I don't have a gun for that. There's that. Could use this instead. It's the same. Is it the same ammo? I always trouble with what what takes what. No, this is this, and this one takes. I don't have any ammo of uh, FMG. 
I have no FMG ammo. I might have to, like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's shotgun school. Oh no, I want some. Uh, he said it was good with spears. Uh, I think I have one. I didn't sell it. This is also, a, I'm gonna give it to him, see what, what he takes as a weapon. Yeah, fuck it, let's go with this. This, 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 this. I sold the spear, it's fine. He said he was good with end to end. Trade, talk, combat. This weapon, no, oh, shotgun. Okay, but we don't have much ammo. 40. Okay. Might be good for a little while. Like managing the ammo of all your companions, that can be pretty crazy. Give me the key, cause that's his stuff, I guess. No, I don't need to lock the key. Ah, the guns. There you go. Eighty-five. Just one more. If I get to ninety. Can I get another one and get 105 or at 90? It's just. Oh, I can't get to 105 because it's 90, so it would be just 95. <laughs> what am I talking about? But yeah, you can get more. I can go. Just one more. <laughs> if I'm really cheap and uh, don't want to put skill points in, in my gun, keep all the, the skill points. I just need to buy the books. I just hope they can sell them. Um, there should be a library in the in the old city, right? I mean, come on, old city. Cheap is correct. Exactly, I said it was cheap. I'm Ed, the local Bremen dealer. Helps you with something? I'm looking for the vault. If there's no books in Vault City, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna buy every other book I can get my hands on here and that's it. Looking for the vault, can tell about Vault City, vault. There's a vault inside the main part of the city that what you're looking for. Old city. I saw Brandon. Oh, I prefer thrifty. <laughs> yeah, I'm thrifty.
Okay, we did all this. A clinic. This here is a common body shop for Vault City. Me and the doctor, the old doctor in the back patch up whoever needs some attention. Old doctor? Yeah, the auto doctor. In the back room there, it's a loner from the city. It can be a little ornery sometimes, but mostly it does its job. Mostly. I see. So I had some other questions for you. Maybe I'll look at, I'll look at it. I'm still bad at repair, but I can put some points in there. Oh, I can't talk to him about it again? Mm. Oh, I saved just after. Ah, oh, fuck, so I can't look at it now? What the fuck? Or maybe I can? I don't know, what is it? This thing? Science. Needs a repair. Repair. No, I'm really pretty low on repair skills. No, it's not the, re the computer. Yeah, I think when you have Vic, you click on, you do repair here and he comes in and says, hey, I'm gonna do it or something. Am I wrong? I think that's what happens. You can have your guys do skill and Vic is mostly a skill guy. He's not really a good fighter. I do remember using him with a shotgun or something, but yeah, Cassidy and uh, Sodic all the way. And I think there's another. I remember a woman. Maybe that's in a woman kind of ninja. Not ninja, but look like. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Nikita or something. Some kind of exotic name or something. I don't know. Oh, don't think I've seen you here before. The name's Smith. Old city. City. Protection. Keep us safe from the outside, but it costs me and the wife quite a bit. And without a plow, well, making end meet is difficult. Can I help you with the plow? You help People like us, we can't offer much, but we sure would appreciate it. Oof, if you can't pay, I can't help you. I'd like to help. Can I find a plow? There's one over near the guns and ammo. Alright. Which reminds me, I haven't been play pushing. Cassidy Sniper and Sulek with a Super Sledge. Oh yeah, I remember using Sulek with a Sledge. That's when I was surprised that the Arden uh, spear was better, but yeah, once you get a super sledge. Cassidy Sniper? Really? Okay. That might have been the reason I couldn't play them as Sniper. I would, I would always follow me. Oh, it's right there. And I don't know, I would give them shotguns and stuff like that. But maybe I should give him a sniper.
I should be the one at the like at, at the far end and not in melee. I have so little HP. But en enemies tend to attack me, which is kind of annoying. Even if it's clearly better for them to attack the other guys, they attack me. Stock. Some books would be nice. Shit. Anyway, we have stuff like metal armor, which is super expensive, like 3,000 bucks. Oh, not even. It's actually not so bad. Oh, this thing is pretty cool. 2,000. A revolver. No, they don't even have the 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 Mauser, I think it's called, or something like that. I think it's a German pistol. At least it looks like it. I know nothing in, in firearms. Do I have something to sell him? Not really. Do you have a spear? No. I could buy this. That's gonna be my weapon of choice for a while. Two thousand bucks. Whew. I'm gonna wait it out. <laughs> Guys, come on. Do you want a kiss or what? Of the plow. Six hundred. Wow. This is where Barter would help me. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, the guy will give us nothing for this. Forget it, the Smiths can starve. I didn't even save Vic out of the... <laughs> what I mean, Vic is gonna be okay, we're gonna save Vic eventually. These guys will starve. Eight hundred bucks. Okay, I can come back anytime. Eight hundred bucks. Let's go talk to Smith again. Where are they? You? I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one. I could just go back into this <laughs> weird. Not yet. Interesting. I will do this doesn't affect the quest here. Get a plow. Why can't I just steal it? Steal. That doesn't work, right? God damn. We'll come back for the plot. Oh, I just want to see if, if we get something from. I, I think it's just karma. L let's look at our karma. Three thirty-six, uh, Volcity, 
Antipathy, great. I'm pretty sure everybody starts like that at Vault City. They really don't like strangers. Selling it, 600, sorry, it's a deal. It's yours. He dropped it off. I didn't see any XP. <laughs> no XP. Character, 336. Thank you! Here's a little something my pa gave me before he left this world with a guard protection. Oh, oh, oh! 250. And we just got a Desert Eagle. A Desert Eagle for 800 bucks is really nice, so I'm gonna take that. Dude, why didn't you tell me you had a fucking Desert Eagle? Uh, Karma, 336. We are not accepted in Vol City. But it didn't do any... I cannot... Why? What? It didn't do anything for our Karma. And I didn't ask for money or, or, or anything. That is weird. Especially since I didn't ask for money. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, wanna help you? No karma. <laughs> Fuck you. Customs. I remember this place. Yeah, proper authorization. If you want to get into a vault, you see, you need, in the vault city, you need to speak to Wallace, head of customs. He can issue you a day pass. Day pass? What's that? A day pass will get you into our city if you've got business. Where can I find Wallace? Custom building. Yeah, we won't get. We can get citizenship, I think. You need to be really smart, and I think you need high charisma also. That, that might be the problem. Or high speech. Oh. That's where you meet uh, Mrs. Uh, Lynette that I hate so much. Look outsider, if you got customs business, Wallace is in the back there, okay? I'll set you up with all the forms you need. This is the customs office. Like the sign says outside says. Like the sign outside says. <laughs> if you haven't got customs business, what are you doing here? Uh, I was looking for the vault. It's inside the city. Why? You're looking to get past the gate? Yeah. Well, you could go see my boss and try to get permission to get inside. But you'd be wasting your time. He never lets anybody in. Of course, there's other ways. Other ways. If you got the cash, then I'll go into details. Otherwise, I've got the money. What are you selling? For 200 bucks, I can make you a full fledged citizen. You'll have free passage through the gate, no hassles. You can print out the papers, register your serial number, and have you on your way in five, si five minutes. Nah. What if I told somebody that you were paid? Peddling citizenship papers. What does it take to become a real citizen? If you're not born a citizen, then you have to take a test to become a citizen. Number number of outsiders that have taken the test and become citizens? Zero. Your chances? Less than zero. What's this test? Gregory, the proto the proconsul, gives a test to any outsiders who want to become citizens. It measures their intelligence and percep perception. And you have to be damn lucky to pass it too. Yeah, I think you need luck too. Most citizens would have trouble with it. So what makes it hard? Since most outsiders can't read, do trigonometry or spell Australidopithecus, you figure it out. It's just an excuse to keep outsiders from becoming citizens. Oh. 
I've decided to turn you in for selling faces. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I do that. What with it? Nobody's gonna believe you, outsider. It'll be your word over mine. I sure hope I can. I can be pretty persuasive. I want you dirty. Careful of what your tongue. If I were you, all right. I got a little cash stashed away here. Take it. Three hundred bucks. Now you gonna keep quiet. As far as I know. See you. <laughs> Did that remove some karma? No. Didn't do shit. Beat it. No, he doesn't want to do anything with us. No, that's fine. We, we won't do that. It's just funny. Uh, what's in this? Stay away. We have such sights to show you. Hey, Trog 16. Hey, thanks for the sub 10 months by your blizzard. That's pretty awesome. That name, he says that name something, so I didn't read it. Lockpick, stay away from there. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Vault City. Is there anything I can help you with? Who are you? Name's Wallace. I'm the customs office for Vault City. I accommodate those who wish to conduct business within our great walls. I'd like to enter the city. Accommodate? What do you mean? This is the customs office for Vault City. We're responsible for keeping a log of all the goods that come to us via the caravans and supervising all transactions. All merchants must pass through customs before entering the city. What goods do you receive? Depends on where the caravan is from. We get shipments from many places, servants from the Den, uranium from Broken Hills, and metal ore from, from Reading. The Den. Delightful place, really killer, really. Killers, thieves, the usual outsiders come, a place where one such as yourself would feel free, will fe feel right at home. Broken Hills. Broken Hills is a mining town to the south. As I understand it, Newtons mine the uranium, uranium, and they ship it here by caravan. They seem a bit shifty, but nice enough. Well, nice enough for outsiders anyway. No offense. Reading. It's a mining town far to the west. The caravans from there were the most pleasant to deal with, but recently the shipments of ore have slowed considerably. It has us a bit worried. We depend we depend on their ore a great deal. Your leader. Our first citizen is Yuan Lynette. She has done many good things for our city in her ten years of service. Bart? She has kept our city untainted by the outside. outside I think no one's barters uh, in the vault city except for uh, merchants. She has kept our city untainted by the outside world, even with NCR pressuring us to join the Republic and the raider attacks. She has kept our city strong. Now, there are the troubles with Gecko. What is the NCR, raiders? NCR is the New California Republic. They claim they are attempting to unify all of California under one government. But we can see right through their pathetic rules. Rules? Are you sure? Even if, even if they were sincere, why would we want to share our resources with the cutthroats and thieves that live outside these walls? I think not. I see. What were you saying about raiders before? Recently we have experienced a rash of particularly brutal raider attacks. We have had attacks in the past, but nothing like this. I fear these raiders might eventually breach our laser turret defenses. Uh, oh, that's not my place to say. You'd have to ask who the first citizen. I'd like to enter the city. If you want to enter the city, then you'll need a good reason. Only a vault citizen has the right to come and go as they please. All other must procure a day pass. What's a day pass? Those who need to deal directly with the merchants or first citizen are given a day pass. Only those with day passes can enter. Oh, I can do merchants. Oh, well, I'm a merchant. <laughs> exactly. I had planned on trading with the other merchants in the city. Can I get a day pass? 
Uh, well, I need to speak to the first citizen. Who's the first citizen? What is that to do? What is it? What is that you do exactly? Yeah. You are a merchant, really. And what would you happen to be selling ore? Some of those filthy wasteland or lizard skins? Glaces at your companion? Or are you looking to sell some servants? <laughs> yeah, I'm selling to. I'm trying. I'm looking to sell some servants. <laughs> mm, very well. There is a day pass fee for merchants $500. Ah, I remember this shit. That includes full daytime trading privileges within Vault City Walls and is good for up to five years after its issue date. But it's such as that. Why does it say. It said day pass? But it's good for five years? But I want to be citizen. I think I need to get inside once at least. to speak the first citizen. Everyone desiring an audience with, the, audience with the first citizen. Sadly, your time is only for matters of the utmost importance. You don't look important enough to warrant your time, I'm afraid. Oh, do tell. I'll rush right over the first citizen to deliver the news personally. I can't tell it to you personally, officer. As much as I like it, it's for the first citizen's ears alone. That's why it's vital I speak to her. Well, this is most irregular. I wouldn't trouble you if I if it wasn't a matter of extreme urgency, officer. I'll be sure to mention how helpful you were when I speak to the first citizen. <laughs> well, this certainly seems to be a matter for the first citizen. Here is your day pass. It is only good during the day. At night, you will be asked to leave the city. Citizens also deserve the right to cancel the day pass privileges at any time. So behave yourself. Understood. Cool. That was it. Can another, another one? Fifty fee for another one. Can I give it to somebody else? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure some. I can't remember. If somebody needed one or not, but I'm pretty sure that if I can buy one for 50 bucks, it's gonna be useful. Did that guy buy a bunch of it? No, no, he said that. Can I get another day pass? Another one? What happened to the second and first one? No. Okay, well, I can get another day pass here for 50 bucks if I want to. I don't need it. I'm a citizen. Um, what I mean was, how do I go about getting citizenship? Go talk to Wallace out of custom. Oh. What? No. Wait a minute. Oh. So it's not him. I'm pretty sure it's when you, you talk to Lynette. Oh. It's 
getting pretty late and I'm entering a pretty big place. Ah, oh, search my belongings. Do I have drugs? I don't think so. What for? I have alcohol. Oh, no, I guess not. Yeah, my guys, they come with me. Which makes sense if you want to sell them, but it doesn't really if you're, you have a citizenship or something. <laughs> Whatever, they just enter. Information. Who's in charge? Where's the vault? It's a big hole in the mountain in the east of here. You can't miss it. Slavery. Look, first thing I have to say <laughs> is that you better not call it slavery around here. Or you're going to get yourself in a whole mess of trouble. They're called servants, not slaves. Just a word of advice. Not much. Most contact we have with outsiders is merchant traveling with the Big Circle Caravan Trail from Broken Hills, New Reno, and Redding. Only other place outside the caravan trail that I know of is Gecko. It's a mining community like Reading, except it's located the far south. We got many of our uranium shipments from there. It's a ways to the southwest. I hear conflicting reports about Reno. Some merchants, especially the slavers, really love it there. Other merchants don't. City with a lot of glitter and a lot of trouble, I hear. It's a mining town to the far to the west. We haven't seen too many caravans from them recently. It's got some of the eye ups a little worrying. Senior Councilman McClure especially. Uh, Gecko. Town of Ghouls. Less than a day's travel to the northeast. As I understand it, rumor is that they prey on any travelers that enter their territory. Best stay away. Synthetic beer, liquor, vodka, blah, 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 blah. Real alcohol? Why, you're looking for something with some more kick? Perhaps, drinking something out can't really compare it to the real thing. That's for sure, I used to have a, well, I used to know this merchant who had a bottle of Mad Dog 3030. Bitter stuff, couldn't feel my tongue afterwards. Was refreshingly different. What happened to this merchant? Stash. It got drunk, or... Or so I heard. There were a few other friends here in Vault City who helped this merchant friend drink the stash. They were willing to pay a good price to have the real stuff for a change. I'll bet, you know, I could probably get some more of that real stuff easy. I've been traveling the way so that getting a hold of alcohol is no big deal. It's that so well if you happen to be looking to relieve yourself of some real alcohol. That could make it worth your while if you could keep quiet about our deal and get the contraband past the gate. How much real alcohol would you need? Say, a case of 10 bottles of premium alcohol and 10 bottles of beer. 10 bottles of alcohol and 10 beer. None of that radioactive stuff I hear comes out of Gecko. Just good old booze, alright? Okay, is that a quest? Beer and booze, 10 each to Lydia. Excellent. Rescue Amen, Amanda's husband. She could go for a smoke, she could use a drink. I think if you... Does he have a drink in his inventory? Yeah. You have a drink. I usually keep that drink in his inventory just for fun. I'll give you smoke if I find some. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're talking about slaves. Okay, so is there a library? Let's go and look for a library. This is clearly not a library. What does it say? Animities? I'm not even sure what that means, animities. I think it's stuff. <laughs> Barter. Phew. Pathetic. Information Center. Information Center. Servant Allocation Center. Correction Center. Citizens. Yeah, once I get citizenship, I'll have access here, and maybe the other place will give me more stuff. Maintenance center. Yeah, I'll call it a stream because I just don't want to get into the city right now. We'll explore the city uh, Friday. So yeah, we should continue Fallout 2 on Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And tomorrow at 8 p.m. we should continue. Uh, when I say should, I mean we will continue. Um, Monkey Island 2. We're gonna raid the uh, new venom is playing some phantasma door yet too. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great night. And remember to have fun. Peace. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs>